Hi guys, so here is my stage makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through the steps and, and throughout the video I will also give you some still shots of how to match your skin tone with the correct foundation, okay? So when you start with stage makeup, the most important part is your face, so prepping your face because stage makeup can clog your pores, it can make you break out. And when you're a teenager, breaking out is something that you're particularly susceptible to, okay? So I start off with a fresh, clean face. So freshly clean and moisturized, and then you start applying your stuff on top of it, okay? So your first step is choosing the correct foundation to match your skin tone. You want something that is actually a shade darker than your natural skin tone because when you step onto the stage, your face, especially if you are pale skinned, your face will turn into just one giant like light bulb. I mean, honestly, it looks like you're a ghost. So you need a darker color to make your face stand out. And then with stage makeup, it's basically um, you're experimenting with light and shadow a lot. So you're using shadow where you want things to recede and you're using highlight where you want things to stand out. So I'm going to start with a uh, male application. So if I'm a male performer, then what I'm going to start off with is something very natural looking and very easy. <laughs> So I've got my foundation here that is one shade darker than my skin tone. So you can see right here, it's darker. I'll even put it on my skin so you can see, all right? So I'm starting with something that is darker than my skin tone and I'm just gonna use my fingers because <laughs> y'all boys, I know that you're probably not gonna use brushes, okay? So I'm trying to give you something that would be easy for you to achieve. Okay, so there's my basic foundation. As you can see, it is definitely darker than my skin tone. So you wanna make sure you rub it into your hairline, that you take it down your face as much as you can, because what you don't want is you don't want that perfect line where the audience can see when you step off stage where your, your co-performers can see that where your skin tone ends and where your makeup begins, okay? So you want to rub it into your skin and into your hairline and then you've got your foundation okay so next what you're going to do is you're going to take some shadow okay so I'm going to choose a very natural shadow for you guys all right and again I'm just gonna take my finger so I'm just putting it on my finger and swiping it on my eyelid okay easy peasy all right, then you're going to take a natural looking, um, a natural color highlight. So something that's just a shade lighter than your skin tone and that has just a little bit of a shimmer. So it should sparkle just a little bit. So this is mine that I would use for a guy, okay? So you're going to apply that to the top of your cheekbone, okay? Now look, this is what it looks like, but never fear, you're blending it in, okay? You're just gonna take your fingers and just rub it in, all right? So you can see that I have cheeks. So when the light shines on me, this will, this will reflect light more than the rest of my face. So we're playing with illusions. We're playing with light and reflection because that's what you do on the stage. You play with light and shadow, okay? And then I'm gonna take this same stuff and I'm just gonna put it on my lips, okay? Because you want your lips to stand out because your features need to be seen from the audience. So I've applied a darker color here so that this part of my eye will recede and my actual eyeballs will hopefully show up better in the audience, okay? And I've applied light here so that this shines and then I'm applying it to my lips as well so that people can see 
my lips moving. Okay? So that is your male stage makeup tutorial. Now for girls, I'm just going to add to this, okay? Because girls, it takes just a little bit more for us to look super girly on the stage, okay? So I'm going to use a darker color, okay? And I'm just, just, I'm just gonna smudge that in to the creases of my eyes, okay? And I am sure, guys, there are better makeup tutorials out there because I am not a makeup artist. But I've had to apply my makeup many, many times for shows, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Okay, so here I've added some dimension, okay? So again, shadows, working with shadows. And I'm gonna take a light color, a light color brown, okay? So you can see it's just barely darker than my skin, and I'm just gonna apply it here to underneath my cheek in the hollow. So if I go like that, I'm applying it right underneath, okay? And I'm also going to put it here because we're playing with shadow, right? So can you see how different my face looks now that I've just applied that little bit of shadow, okay? Now we're gonna take our highlighter, okay? So I'm gonna use this same highlighter. Actually, I'm gonna use something lighter for girls because we're playing. So I'm gonna take like an almost gold for girls, okay? And I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so there's my highlighter. Now I'm going to apply a blush color with this guy. So I used this for the boys, remember? I'm gonna use a little heavier application on the apples of my cheeks. If you don't know where the apples of your cheeks are, you go <laughs> and right about that part that sticks up, that's the part that you're applying it, okay? And you're just gonna blend it up into your highlighter and into your contour. That's the fancy word for that darker color that you use beneath your cheekbone, okay? Now, the last thing that I like to do because it has the most potential to smudge is you put on your mascara, okay? So boys, I didn't do this for you because even though if you're a professional and you go on the stage, you should absolutely apply mascara even as a guy, but for our stage productions as a high schooler, as a teenager, I'm just aiming for you to get the basics done so that I can see your face from the audience, okay? But girls, you would, a lot of you would apply liner here. I do not because I actually have small eyes. So I don't apply any kind of liner at all because my eyes will actually recede if I put on a liner. So I'm just applying a mascara. And I'm actually going to apply two coats because it's for the stage. So I want them to stand out really well. Okay, I forgot lipstick. So girls, um, you would want a darker color. There you go, now it's full. <laughs> now it's full scary, okay? So again, this is this is a stage application. It is not what you would wear every day. If I were to pass you in, I don't know, Target or something wearing this much makeup, it'd be kind of scary. But this is for the stage, okay? So that is the end of my stage makeup tutorial. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching it. I had fun making it. Um, this process can be really fun and this would be the basis for special effects makeup, okay? So I really want you guys to master this. If you're gonna be in a musical or a play, you really have to start off with at least this kind of a basic sort of preparation, okay? All right, bye guys.